What about all your baubles? Did you do like 80 bucks? Uh... How much are your chairs? Pardon me? How much are your chairs? Well, it's a set. It's the two chairs and the table. Oh, okay. Here, I'll help you bring them out. Oh, great. Thank you. You're welcome. What are you asking for them? Um, I'm for the three pieces, I'm going to ask uh, 20. 20 bucks. They're ready. They're all ready to paint. If yeah. you want to paint. How old paint. are they? Well, I've had them for a little while. Yeah. But they're very sturdy. You yeah. Know? Well, it's not here. The table is, it slopes down here, um, but it's very, very sturdy. And, um, you know, you can paint it. You can even do white, black, white, black, or whatever. Yeah. I'll give you 20 bucks for it. Okay, great. Would you guess they're from 70s, 80s? How old do you think they are? Um, you know what? I, I just, I really don't know. Yeah. I, I really have no idea. It doesn't look that new. It seems like you really don't make stuff like this, you know, like sturdy metal like this. It doesn't feel right. like you're right. Like it doesn't seem like a newer set. Uh huh. Well, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's not sure. How much is your big wine uh, chest piece? Oh, the cabinet down here? Yeah, is that for wine? Yeah, you can put wine in it. You can, um, it's got shelves in it. Okay. What are you asking for it? Yeah, I'll t I'm going to take that. Okay. I'm going to take that. Can't get that zipper open. There we go. It also has an outfit in it. You can have an outfit in there too. Good job, Jess. Is this the Target brand? Yeah, is that my generation? I'll take this too. So I owe you 15. Okay. Actually, and I got this here for a dollar. So I owe you 16. Okay, sounds great. Do you have any sporting goods like baseball bats or. Um, so. Anything like that? No. no. Are these 10 each or 10 for the pair? 10 each. Okay. She didn't even hardly play with them. I know what my mother gave for that. For yeah. Her, so she hardly even touched yeah. that thing. I owe you 10 and 5 and 1 is 16. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and buy that too. I'll okay, 26. Okay, go get there some food. There you go. All right, Thank perfect. you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Doing fine. Thank you. You alright? How much are your shirts? Uh, two bucks a piece. Two bucks a piece. Large and extra large. This is an eight piece. Empty travel truck. Yeah. 1880s. Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. 
You remember Boom Boom? I do not. That's a cool shirt, though. How much are your shirts? Uh, can't leave that much of the shirts. You'll have to wait until this. Okay. Dollar a piece. Okay. That's fine. Two ones for the embroidered one? Yeah. Okay. Which one's embroidered? This one. Okay. Boom Boom Man CD was a uh, middleweight, lightweight boxer in the 1980s. Oh, wow. Killed a guy. Oh, my goodness. In the ring? In the ring, yeah. Jeez. A Korean uh, fighter boxer. What is this? We set that stuff on the truck. A noodle it? cart? Sure, thank you. This is, um, got this from Thailand. No kidding. It's brass. Um, the locals sell noodles from it. Wow. On the street corner. Huh. These little containers contain spices and what have you. Okay. There's a place in the bottom that, uh, opens up and they would put hot coals in there no kidding to keep the noodles warm never seen life. anything like they that would, they would move it around the street corners to wow. sell their food why are we giving that to ellie why well that's something kung fu panda would have used all right i've got Dollar on the glove, two dollars on the game. How much is the book? Uh, buck. Buck. So two, three, four. I've got the um, two polos at two apiece is eight, and then I think I've got one, two, three, four t-shirts. Comes up to twelve. Ten bucks. Ten. Sure. Thank you. I saw in your picture you had a uh, Star Wars Lego. Did that sell already? Yeah. yeah. Did it? Got here too late. There you go. Yeah, maybe. Thank you. Do you have any other Legos? Do you want a bag? Sure, if you got okay. one. That'll do the trick. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Good luck with your sale. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I want to keep looking around. I'm going to find something else. What about all your baubles? Did you do like 80 bucks? Uh, sure. All right. Cool. Hey, uh, okay. What? Here, these go with them for free. Oh, cool. Thanks. Two, three, four. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Check out that mailbox. <laughs> that is cool. Polo is 25 cents. Well, I'm getting this, and I was going to get all these shirts here, okay. and then these two are five each. I was wondering if you do seven on the pair. Oh, yeah. Can't do seven? Okay. All right, so five, ten, two is twelve. Let's see, eleven, uh, thirteen, thirteen fifty, thirteen seventy-five. And that's a dollar fourteen seventy-five. Okay. There you go. All right, guys. I've already had a number of garage sales this morning, and I've got a pretty good load of stuff back there. I've got one more sale left to hit, and my antique mall was right on the way to that sale. So I'm gonna drop off this furniture, go ahead and put it in my booth, and price it. I had to do a little bit of reconfiguring, but I squeezed them all in here. Um, the patio table and chair set, I put $75 on, 
and I also put $75 on this thing. At first I thought it might have been a wine cabinet, but there's not drawers that line up with each of these holes. So I think it's just supposed to be decorative grids. It's not supposed to store wine, but it is a cool piece and I think somebody will snatch it up. Les Sally I went to had some incredible stuff, just some really cool old antiques, but everything was just priced a little bit too high for me to make any money, so I didn't buy anything there, but I still just really liked walking around. It was 30,000 square feet that they just had packed with antiques, so that was a pretty cool sale. I did find a lot of other stuff today, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got. Okay, the one sale, you guys saw me buy all these bobbleheads. He had 14 of them, and they were priced you know, 10 to $15 a piece. So all together, he might've been asking 150, 160, something like that. And I offered him 80 bucks for all of them. And he said, yeah. So I'm into them for like, I don't know, 550, 570, something like that. And I think I'll average maybe 10 to $12. There's a couple that are worth a little bit more money. So there's two of these King Griffey Juniors. These are pretty recent. I think those I can get maybe 20, $25 for. Same with this Joe Morgan. But then actually, yeah, these, these scooter Jeanettes are the same way. I should be able to get maybe 20, 25 because he's riding a scooter, which is a pretty cool bobblehead. Then a lot of the other ones are not worth much. So like this Fraser, Homer Bailey, Chapman, the Stein. Those will probably sell closer to like seven or eight dollars a piece. Got this Pokemon game strategy book. I always pick these up when I find them. This was only a dollar. That should go for about 15 or 20. Hiding behind the bobbleheads is an air filter. This is new in the plastic. They only wanted a dollar for it. And I know these are not cheap, so I might be able to sell that for some decent money. Got a board game Furt. Kind of weird. Going two dollars. Star Trek Starfleet Technical Manual. I thought this was pretty neat. I don't know what year it's from. Let's see if it's got a copyright. 1975. Um, that was a dollar. Might be worth a little bit. Got a nice Adidas glove for a dollar. This Pocahontas doll I paid seven for. It's selling maybe around 25 or 30. Got some Panasonic cordless phones for $2. I've been doing really well with cordless phones lately. Believe it or not, people still buy them. And then I got a bunch of vintage clothing. Uh, polos at one sale were a quarter each. So I got this uh, Mickey golf polo. This is a Cincinnati Tall Stacks sweatshirt. That was a dollar. 1990 Reds World Champion sweatshirt for a dollar. He had a handful of uh, Big Ten School polos and some of them were not in good condition kind of had some stains so i passed on them uh, but i did pick a few of these up for a quarter each here's indiana university minnesota i think those are the only big 10 ones i got and here's another reds sweatshirt for a buck got two of these pendleton uh, wool plaid button-up shirts 
I never saw that brand before, but it looks like they do pretty good. Maybe $20, $25 a piece. They wanted five a piece. I offered, I think, seven or eight dollars for the pair, but they weren't budging on price, but that's all right. Still money to be made on those. The sale where I got the bobbleheads, they had some uh, vintage Bruce Springsteen shirts, so I snatched those up. Those were a dollar each. Um, here's Tunnel of Love Express Tour. I'd say these are probably all from the 80s. Uh, Raymond Boom Boom Mancini Boxer World Champion. That's a really cool shirt. And on the eighth day, God created Springsteen. That's from 84. Uh, here's another one from 84. And then uh, here's a Hawaiian shirt I picked up. It says, where's it at? Made in Hawaii, USA. I don't know what the maker is, but it looked to be vintage. Thought it had a cool look. It was $2, so I bought it. And I thought this had a really cool look, too. This thing just screams 1990s. Boston Harbor. Uh, that was also $2. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.